talk about the Dell PowerEdge T630. I've been asked constantly about a system that's somewhat quiet that can also have many 3.5-inch drives. This system is not very common, but sometimes it's ordered this way. And what's interesting about it is the backplane. Each row has six 3.5-inch drives. And while this particular one doesn't have all of them filled, there's quite a few fillers. The first two are the 200 gig SSDs. If you wanted to save that space, you can also use boss cards with NVMe drives. This server is very uncommon, but it's pretty good. Also, just a heads up, the more drives you install, the louder this system will be. So if you have SAS hard drives, it's going to get loud. If you only have a couple of hard drives or lower power drives, the system will be quiet. Okay, the cover is off. And also I wanted to mention that this particular unit doesn't come with normal legs, but rather miniature wheels, so it's very easy to move the system around. Without the drives, it weighs around 50 to 60 pounds, but if you install all 18 drives, it's going to be very heavy and the wheels won't work well. This unit also has quite a few network cards, but we're just going to keep them there for now. The way the RAID card is installed is also very different from other systems. It's actually installed in the middle of this server, and not at the end where the rest of the cards are. I'm going to take the air baffle off, and you guys will be able to see where the heat sinks and all the dims go. The air baffle is off, and as you can see, the system is missing memory. It's probably missing CPUs as well. Some of the customers remove the parts from the servers before they trade them in, or when it's time to return them off lease. There's plenty of DIM ports, and the system takes two CPUs. Like in the previous video, we will be using the E526-98V4 here to have 40 cores, and we're going to install quite a bit of memory. With 18 bays, plenty of memory, and plenty of cores, this system can support your entire business. This is great for Unraid, TrueNAS, ESX, or anything of that nature. If you're going to use Unraid or TrueNAS, I would recommend using something like the HBA330. Even though most H730P cards can run HBA mode, some of the software don't like it. Okay, here's the view from the back. You can see that this unit has two power supplies. It also has a COA for Windows Server 2012. The first thing we're going to do is install Windows Server 2022 on it and update all the firmware on it. We're also going to put the two SSDs in the front in rate. But before that, I'm going to check if iDRAC is enterprise or not. Okay, I pressed F2 to enter the setup mode, and from here I'm going to go into the BIOS and reset it to the defaults. After this, I'm going to go into iDRAC to check if it has enterprise, and then I'm going to go into device settings to configure the rate. So I'm going to put two SSDs into rate one. Okay, so this system has an iDRAC enterprise license, so we don't have to buy one. Now, we're going to reset iDRAC to defaults, then update it to the latest version, so we can do everything else remotely. We have two small SSDs installed in the system. Now we're going to create a mirror or aid one by going into device settings, and then we're going to install the OS. Okay, now we're going to go into perk H730, and we're going to go into configuration management. And then we're going to say create virtual disk in here. We have to select rate one, and then we have to say select physical disks. We have to choose SSD, check all apply changes, click OK, and then we have to apply changes again. Now we have to go back and press finish until we exit this and boot up from our Windows Server 2022 flash drive. Okay, we installed the operating system on the two SSDs and we updated the lifecycle controller along with the BIOS. After that, we logged into the lifecycle controller and updated the rest of the firmware. So we are now ready to install the rest of the components. Okay, those are the two SSDs, 200 gigs each. This is great for Windows. You don't really need more than that. If you were to install VMware, ESXi, or some other operating system that doesn't require much space, you would be using a card like this. This is a dual SD card. This particular card has a 216 gig SD module. And this is the memory that we're going to be installing. We're going to install 432 gigs of DDR4 ECC registered load reduced memory DIMMs that's supported by the T630. And these are the two processors, 20 cores each, that we're going to install in here. The system is going to have a ton of power and enough memory to do most tasks. You can also replace some parts in the system with your preferences, such as more drives, more memory, 
and better network cards. By the way, this system can also run PFSense. Now, we're going to install these parts and show you how to configure this system with iDRAC. First, we updated the lifecycle controller with iDRAC and also updated BIOS. Then we updated the rest of the firmware by using lifecycle controller. At this point, we can log in into iDRAC and confirm that everything is working as expected. Enter the IP address of the eDRAC into the browser and accept the warning by clicking on Advanced and Accept Risk and Continue. Now, enter username and password. If you ever wanted to know how much electricity your system is consuming, click on Power and Thermal. Here you can see that our system in current configuration and load consuming about 222 watts. Now we are going to click on the server icon again, and you can see server health in the server health section on the screen. Next, we will click on the launch button in virtual console section of the screen and have full access to view the system as we were seating in front of it, including the boot process and full access to screen and keyboard. Remotely, you can also mount virtual media and install any operating system remotely. Now we are going to log in to the Windows operating system by clicking the Macros button and issue Control, Alt, Delete. Here you can see Device Manager and all device installed. You can see the RAID controller, H730, and 12 network ports that we have installed. Now let's take a look at the Task Manager and here you can see that we have installed 2x E5-2698 V4 CPUs for 40 cores and 80 threads total. Also, 128 GB memory and the two 200 GB SSDs in RAID 1. This system is very powerful with 40 cores, 80 threads, 128 GB memory, and 18 3.5 in bays. You can upgrade the memory 768 GB or higher and multiple drives as needed. You can also swap out the RAID card to HBA H330 if you wanted to run Unraid or True NAS. You can also install PFSense as you have many NIC ports. Basically, this system can do it all and you can build it yourself, or if you are local, you can purchase it from us for $940. I'm